welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I really wanna talk about my new workout routine. We're gonna make lunch together. I'm also going to be making a snack plate right now. And then at some point, just talking about finding the inspiration to do personal training again, the small group that you guys saw that I was doing. So basically it's small group personal training. And I talked about it in my previous video that I signed up for it and that was a big step. And I just feel like I was the kind of person that I loved going to workout classes. I love doing small group training. I love doing all of that. And then when the pandemic happened, that's when I really fell out of my routine and then just staying home more often and having a baby and being postpartum. I feel like I just lost myself when it comes to working out. Like I just lost my favorite style and I would try to do workouts from home and I would try to just do like YouTube workouts and all of that. And that was great for one period of my life. Like at one point that was, I was really committed and I was sticking to it. Um, but I think you guys know, those of you that work out from home probably get it, that it's really hard to stay motivated with that because you could be working out and then someone knocks on your door, the dogs are barking or the baby's crying and it's really hard to find like you time. And there's a couple other reasons why I'm getting back into working out consistently and I wanna talk about that and just really finding your motivation. That's what keeps you going. Like you can work out and get all inspired, but are you going to stick with it? And especially with it getting colder outside, that's another thing too. Like, you know, wearing your sweatshirt there and like wearing a jacket and gloves and all of that. I think I'm in a good spot right now and that's what I'm excited to talk to you guys about today. So we're gonna make the snack plate cause I'm starving at this point and then we will chit chat all about motivation and this and that. Step one, a cute board of some sort. It makes a difference when you're making a snack plate. Okay, next step is the crackers. So I really, really love these Mary's herb ones. My husband says they have a really healthy taste, so keep that in mind. There's a lot of texture to them. I've talked about them before. Then there's this brand, I can't think, I think it's called Back to Nature. I'll put it right here. And they make like these wheat crackers and they are so delicious and really addicting, but I couldn't find them at the store. And I wanted that like wheat taste, so I just went with like wheat thins. Not the healthiest, but that's what I went with. Remember in my older videos, I used to make snack plates all the time. Um, and now we kind of like fell off and now we're getting back into them. It's just fun to switch it up. So then I do some sort of veggie. You could do really like anything. I'm doing carrots. A meat, we always do that. So I have some salami, I'm trying to make it like cute. I really only make snack plates when other people are gonna eat with me. I feel like on my own, I wouldn't put in all this effort. <laughs> and then dips. And what's fun is like, you can like change them up. You can change the dips you use, the cheese. So I do have some burrata, but I'm gonna save that for tonight because I feel like when we're cooking, it's fun to like have cheese while we're cooking. So this is just regular, what kind of this is this? I did Instacart, so roasted garlic, yum. And I really like the carrots and the hummus and the Mary's crackers and the hummus. Then this is gonna sound weird. Maybe you guys do it too. I don't know, but it's delicious. Is the wheat thins in the ricotta. Oh, so good. If we have any olives, I like to put those on there too. I don't think that we do. We go through olives so fast in this house. I add them to pretty much everything. Mmm. Mmm. Is Violet still sleeping? Yeah. One cracker or two really don't be up. Mm. Could she eat that? Yeah. How does she do it? She just bite on it. Suck on it? Mm hmm. Yeah, we do this in my own. Okay, so now I want to talk about my new fall workout routine. So workout routines are something I like to switch up all the time. I might be into hot Pilates. I might be into regular Pilates. Hit resistance training. Like right now I'm doing the small group personal training. Today was my first day and there's only three people in the group counting me. So it's very, very personal training. And I'm doing that twice a week. He also asked me some of my goals. I said that I wanted to lose a little bit of fat 
and I wanted to gain just a little bit more muscle. So that was the first thing, asking me my fitness goals. And he said, basically, it's going to be like fast paced resistance training. So we did a lot of supersets and a lot of not that many breaks so i would be doing a move and then taking a 15 second break and doing it three times and i really like that because one it kind of makes the hour fly by i don't really like when you are doing one workout and then the next workout like i like this fast paced almost like a hit kind of workout but resistance training and then the other thing i want to say and i said this in my previous video is that like because it costs more to do personal training or small group training it is something that i'm going to be sticking with because i have skin in the game like literally just plain and simple i feel like when i do a lot of free workouts or workouts that don't have a set time set place i don't stick to them as much and for me i need to be structured when it comes to workout I believe i'm doing a six week plan and when you are trying to see results with your body and compare and do all of that like six to eight weeks is always what trainers recommend before you start like weighing yourself and doing all that it's nice to stick with something for six weeks and see how it's going and so the fact that i already signed up for six weeks makes me feel really good that like i know what i'm going to be doing and like i know the workouts and all that so anyway long story short what i'll be doing two days a week and then the other days i already do my walks in my neighborhood and then i'm going to be going to the gym probably one more day so i'll only be going to the gym three days a week and on that other day i just plan to do cardio so the stairmaster the treadmill something like that something simple that i could just listen to a podcast work out and not really think about it oh did you just wake up from your nap Hi. Look at this girl with her nap eyes. Ah, is that Violet? Hi, eyes. Hi. Hi. Oh. Okay. So finding motivation. This has been one of the hardest things for me. I think after having my baby, I realized what people mean when they say like, oh, it's so easy for moms to lose themselves or to just get so caught up in the day to day with your baby, with your job, with you know the house and this and that that you really do neglect your physical appearance so to say like i recently got a facial and the girl was like oh when was the last time you got a facial and i was like i have no idea that is something that i want to change now that she's one i do feel more comfortable and you're never going to wake up and say like you know what today is the day today is the day that i'm super motivated that day doesn't come so if you're waiting for that day i hate to break it to you but that day is not coming what happened to me is i got one like little tiny push like i just felt like you know what sam you need to just work out my husband was like i'm going to the gym do you want to come i went with him i saw the personal training groups happening and i signed up like just didn't even think about it you know what i'm just doing it i'm signing up and i was fighting it so hard because i didn't want to sit down with the guy and him take my name and address and credit card and sit there i was like i just want to rush home to violet i just want to rush home but i just did it i was like you know what i'm just gonna do it and having that structured like those two days a week i have to be there at a certain time my workout is already planned for me and there's other people in the group to help motivate and all that so i feel like for me that's the style that works out for me that might not be what's best for somebody else but i guess overall what i'm saying is throw yourself into a program i always see on instagram challenges like if you see like a workout group doing a challenge then try that if they're doing challenges at your gym try that or personal training or something like that but i think when i think to really like get back into it if you've taken a break for a while or you just haven't seen results or you're trying something different i do think that you have to throw yourself into it you're never going to feel motivated and in the past i used to think following certain people that were super healthy or showing their workouts that that would then rub off on me and i think to some degree it does like when I, I follow a lot of fitness people and and yes it's super inspiring and i love seeing it and i personally love sharing it as well but i think that that only lasts so long and eventually it wears off like it motivates you in the moment you see somebody working out super hard and you're like that's gonna be me i'm gonna do that and then it wears off so i think i think it really is that mental push and like pushing yourself 
and you guys know I'm obsessed with the book Atomic Habits and his big thing and his claim to fame with Atomic Habits is small changes will then add up over time. And throughout the book, it was a common theme that those small changes are never easy. And when you're pushing yourself through those times that aren't easy and pushing yourself and signing up for a challenge or signing up for training on the day that you really don't want to, that you really just wanna rush home, that's actually where true mo motivation and inspiration is starting because you're doing it on a down day. If you just wait till it's an up day and a day you're feeling really good and positive, well, anybody can make a positive change on a day they're feeling good. And that's so true. Think about when you're having an awesome day. You're like, you know what? I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do that. It's the days that you're not feeling like it and you're pushing through. That's where true motivation is and that's where you're gonna find inspiration. That's just something I wanted to share with you guys today because yeah, I've been struggling myself and I've never gone this long without a workout program. So I know that it's a new phase that I'm in with motherhood. It's my first time at it. So yeah, it, it's just like finding out what works, what doesn't work and just throwing myself into a program, a program that costs money so that I also have some skin in the game, like I said. And also too, the endorphins are so real. Like when I left the gym today, I felt so good. Like I felt like my skin was glowing and I just felt so excited. I went home, I got out my planner, I started planning video ideas and I just felt really good and positive. So that's another thing, like if you can hold on to that feeling, like, oh my gosh, I feel so good after the workout then it just keeps motivating me. So for a super simple, quick lunch, I've been making quinoa bowls. So my daughter loves these too. And basically I just saute onion, garlic, ginger, and broccoli. I love ginger for the flavor, but also for immunity and health wise in the fall when we're all getting like colds and sick. And then I add in liquid amino and honey. This I don't give to my daughter, this I just add for myself. And then I add some chicken on top that my sister brought over. It's just breaded chicken and super easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.